The Toreada de los Diablos, or Bullfighting with the Devils, is a Holy Week tradition of the town of Tanlajas in San Luis Potosí, Mexico. Tanlajas is a Catholic community, most of whose inhabitants belong to the Tenec ethnic group. In the Catholic liturgical calendar, Holy Week is the most sacred week of the year. It begins on Palm Sunday, commemorating the story of Jesus' entry into Jerusalem includes the week of his torture and death at the hands of the Roman Empire and ends on Easter Sunday when Christians believe he was resurrected. In Tanlajas, since at least 1880, the Holy Week celebration has involved a symbolic battle between good and evil. It begins with the appearance of Diablos, devils who wear a wide array of masks. They do not always appear as devils. They can be skulls, angry monkeys, clowns, monsters, or anything ugly and menacing. The idea is that the devil personification of evil can take any form, and so a Christian must be constantly on guard. The devils carry a kind of rawhide whip with a wooden handle called a chirion that they will use to lash their challengers. These challengers are known as toreadores, or bullfighters. They will approach a devil with no protection other than a wooden stick, about 60 centimeters long. The devil will attempt to whip the legs of the toreador, who will block and dodge until he can get close enough to tap the devil's mask with his stick. In the past, the ritual was even more violent with the toreador attempting to break the devil's mask with his stick until he succeeded or was disabled by whip wounds. The purpose of breaking the mask was twofold, both to punish the devil and to reveal who was wearing the mask, with the result that the other devils would rally around him to hide his identity. the whip can wrap around the legs, tripping the toreador. Today, the stick blow to the mask is only symbolic, but the wounds sustained by the toreador in the course of the ritual are quite real and often severe. This is not discouraged. The Toreadores believe they are sharing in Jesus' suffering. In consequence, there is much consuming of alcohol among them to help dull the pain, but not in church. Historically, the devils policed the church to ensure nobody was drinking or otherwise violating social rules. Holy Week takes away our sins. We want to be faithful. We want to be people who owe no debt to the Lord. The devil has to use all his strength to strike us because I can defend myself. And if it hurts, I can run away. But if I have a lot of courage, I can bear anything. I began the Toreada in 2004. From childhood in this town, Tanlajas, San Luis Potosí, on Holy Week everyone can go out. We suffer because Jesus suffered. They saw him and condemned him to the passion and death after crucifixion. And in this time, the Tanlajasans armed themselves in this whole geographical area and enter as Pharisees, biblically speaking. The faces of devils were actually of Pharisees, of hypocrites. It's a 200-year-old tradition here, and I, as a devil, have been able to preserve the tradition so that everyone can experience it. Why a devil? 
I like being a devil even as a child. You're following a tradition that originates far away. I've talked to many people from all over the world, and the mass tradition is very important to the human being. Here we have it too. It transforms a person. I can be one person without a mask and a totally different person when I wear it. It's a rule that on Holy Week you can only be a devil or toreador. If you are a devil and appear as a toreador, everyone will whip you. If you break the rule, you expose yourself. Today you get to choose. But in the past, the mother of the family went to church and decided whether you will be a devil, and I went and got the things. Now you get to decide. You get the mask, the whip, and now there you go. As I said, these were originally Pharisees, but behind the Pharisees and Pontius Pilate were devils. Without hitting people with the whips, they were tormenting Jesus. So this is why our tradition is not recent, it's from the distant past. It's a tradition that arrived with Catholicism. I made the whips because they are the ones that get worn down the most. This, these courts. The Holy Week of 2014 and 2015, in the courtyard, there was no space available. None. It's a tradition that brings in many visitors. We have welcomed Italians, Japanese, French, they visit from different countries. Carlos Larraga is 53 years old and participates actively in the Holy Week celebration. My passion for the masks comes from the traditions of Tan Lajas, to which these are integral. I did not have an opportunity or the desire to make masks for economic gain. I began making little faces and with a great deal of practice, well, I learned to make what you see and help carry on the tradition. There are other mask makers here who have more experience and more time than I have. My other work is that of a teacher. I work with children. I like working with the students, but I don't teach them mask making. I teach physical education, basic motor skills. I began making masks in the year 1998 or 1999, but it took time to learn. My mother and father struggled hard for me, and at the time they said, the mask cost money, whip costs money, and they couldn't just give this to me. I began the work of making the masks because I wanted to be a devil. To be a devil was important to me. The devils whip us. The devils torment us. So we must learn to be astute to avoid their lash. On Easter Sunday comes the final toreada. The diablos put a mock devil of wood shavings and rags stuffed with fireworks and gunpowder on the back of a donkey. This stuffed devil with clothes and a wood mask is called the mono, meaning dummy, and represents the devil himself. They bring him to the courtyard near the plaza and hang him there. A devil will then read a testament prepared beforehand. It is a satiric, humorous litany, poking fun at the picadillos of the townsfolk in the preceding year. Finally, the dummy is burned setting off the fireworks and creating a spectacle for the enjoyment of the audience. This signals the end of the ceremony. The Toreada de los Diablos is probably a syncretic tradition co-opted by the Catholic Church. It may have begun as a world ritual of the Tenek people as they prepare to defend themselves against the neighboring Nahuatl. The Catholic missionaries as they often did in the New World, forced the ritual into the mold of the Catholic world view, which simplifies the universe into a struggle of good against evil. During Holy Week in Tan Lajas, evil is always defeated.